It's all been building to this. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 cartoon finales. For this list, we're looking at the best ever final episodes of cartoon shows. I wish we were going with you. Everything's going to be new and exciting for you, and everything here is going to be the same. Except you won't be with us. For the record, movies and other continuations like Ed, Ed, and Eddie's Big Picture Show won't appear on this list. Also, we won't be considering anime, which deserves a list of its own. So our apologies to Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood's perfect ending. Be warned, <laughs> spoilers ahead. If you can endure that pain and walk away from it, you'll find that you now have a heart strong enough to overcome any obstacle. Yeah, a heart made full metal. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. Bang, bang. Number 10, Change Your Mind, Steven Universe. I'm ready. We've got friends to save. Steven Universe was envisioned by creator and showrunner Rebecca Sugar to run five seasons with all of the plot points culminating in this final episode. While the show would later be followed by a film and a limited series follow-up, Change Your Mind still served as the conclusion to the original series and tied up ongoing plots, most notably the war between the Crystal Gems and the Homeworld. Didn't we hurt Pink? She was suffering in silence for ages, just like our gems, just like me. And I know you're suffering in silence too! The final showdown between Steven and White Diamond encapsulated the themes the show had built, as well as concluding the development of Steven and other characters. If you're not pink, then who are you? Who, who is anyone? You know, if you just let everyone be whoever they are, Maybe you could let yourself be whoever you are, too. Number 9. A Regular Epic Final Battle Regular Show We gotta get back to help Pops! I know how we can do it! Take, take us to the end, take us to the end, whoa! Won't you take us to the end? Regular Show always had a tendency to tell stories that revolved around the exciting and surreal, and the show's aptly named finale took those elements to their logical conclusions. The three-part ending saw Mordecai and Rigby, along with their friends and co-workers, go into space to help Pop save the universe itself. Yeah, don't forget what we're here for. We have to battle anti-Pops, whose whole thing is like erasing the universe as we know it. No big deal! A number of fan-favorite characters returned for the final battle in this particularly meta episode. Greetings, dudes! Told you we'd meet up with you. Sure shot! We thought you died! Not before I cloned myself. I got a whole bunch of backup clones. After saving Saving reality but losing one of their own, the final shots show the next 25 years of these characters' lives play out, set beautifully to David Bowie's heroes. Man, I can't believe it's been 25 years. Yeah, I wish Pops could have been here to see this. Well, if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have this. Number 8. Episode CI – Samurai Jack when Samurai Jack ended its initial run in 2004, there was clearly some unfinished business, as the last episode of season 4 provided no conclusion to the ongoing story. For more than a decade, it seemed that was it. However, in 2017, fans got a final fifth season. We're here, Jack! We're here to rescue you! The season culminated in a finale that began with a number of Jack's past allies, rescuing him before he finally headed back to the past to defeat Aku. No! However, what truly set the episode apart was the bittersweet ending for Jack when the love he'd brought back from the future was erased from time as a result of his victory over evil. Without a coup, I would have never existed. No. Number 7. Last Day of Summer – Phineas and Ferb Phineas and Ferb was built on the premise of finding an incredible way to spend each day of summer vacation. Therefore, there was really no other way for it to conclude than with the end of summer break. The show continued its trademarks of callback jokes and meta humor in a plot that involved Candace and Dr. Doofenshmirtz caught in a Groundhog Day-esque loop. What day is it? Again. Why, the last day of summer, of course. Ah, yes! The days are repeating! Which means I still have a chance to... Oh no, I'm not falling for that one again. Of course, the title characters had plenty to do, figuring out how to escape a void dimension and build a machine to save the world. Come on, gang, we know what we have to do today. Yeah! Ah! To top it all off, 
Doofenshmirtz finally came around to the side of good, joining forces with his former rival, Perry. Who'd have thought we'd be such a good team? My daughter, my nemesis, and my hot beverage. Mm. Counterclockwise on that jib bolt pair of the platypus. Number six, graduation, Kim Possible. You know, this is all new territory, KP. New? Draken, Alpine Lair, feels sort of repeatish. No, I'm talking about graduation. I get to wear a gown! Originally intended to conclude in its third season, Disney brought Kim Possible back for a fourth and final season, which followed Kim and Ron, now as a crime-fighting couple. The final episode, Graduation, as the name would imply, saw the end of their time at Middleton High School, with a twist, of course. Alien invaders kidnap both Kim and her arch enemy, Dr. Draken, leaving Ron and Shigo to team up to save them, as well as the world. When you went from hero to villain, uh, that must have been like an epic change. The episode wrapped up many of the show's plots and gave these beloved characters a proper send off. Kimberly and Possible. Thanks, Mr. Barkin. Uh, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> well, things are gonna be boring here without you, Possible. Number five, Goodbye to Blue. Foster's home for imaginary friends. It's a rather recent development that Western cartoons would even have definitive endings. You're not going anywhere, Blue! In the past, final episodes rarely concluded any ongoing storylines or wrapped much up. Instead, they often felt like any other episode. Foster seems to follow the recent trend by making the episode seem like it will be the end of Mac and Blue's friendship before Mac moves and won't be able to visit Foster's again. Apparently his mother received a new job and they've decided to relocate. I tried explaining what a horrible, tragic effect this would have on the house, but he insisted the situation was beyond his control. Of course, in true Foster's fashion, this turns out to be a misdirect, as it's revealed that Mac and Blue's friendship will continue past the end of the show. I'm moving, but I'm not moving away. It's just to another apartment in my building. Oh, did I fail to mention that key detail? Number four, come along with me, Adventure Time. Adventure Time had always been a show concerned primarily with character development and relationships, with a mix of lore, comedy, music, and of course, heart in the mix. Hey man, don't even worry about all this war stuff. I know we'll find a way to fix this thing. Come on, you'll see. The finale delivered on all of those fronts in spades, with an extended four-part episode that had a plethora of callbacks and references to the show's mythology, as well as delivering powerful endings to multiple character arcs. Hey, I'm a tough gum. Nothing never happening to me. Never. The bittersweet episode contained both moments that made fans cheer, like Bubblegum and Marceline finally sharing a kiss, as well as ones that made them cry, like the heartbreaking death of Fern. I just wish I could see the treehouse one more time. Yeah, dude, of course. Let's go there right now. That's okay. Just promise to plant me there. Number three, meanwhile, Futurama. Futurama has had a number of finales due to uncertainty about whether the show would be renewed for future seasons. Remember this place, Leela? Yep, the moon. It's been here for quite a while. Yeah, but it's also where we came on our very first delivery together. While its original intended finale, The Devil's Hands or Idle Playthings, certainly could have served as a perfect bookend to the show, its actual eventual final episode was equally beautiful. Meanwhile, continue to deliver on the show's signature mix of humor and heart. I'm not sure what kind of life we can make together in this frozen timesicle, but if it's not too weird, will you still marry me? I would marry you even if you weren't the last man on Earth. It focused on the show's most enduring plot, the love story between Fry and Leela, giving their romance a fitting send-off that saw them grow old together, and ended with them preparing to have their memories wiped and live their lives all over again. What do you say? Want to go around again? I do. Number two, Weird Mageddon, Gravity Falls. By its last episode, Gravity Falls had established a unique mythos, compelling mysteries, complex characters with interesting relationships, and an immense overarching threat. Oh, oh man, this is bad. This is real bad. Situation. All of that buildup led to the massive payoff that was the three-part finale Weird Mageddon. 
With the ultimate evil Bill Cipher unleashing the things from his own Lovecraftian dimension on our world, only a ragtag group of our favorite characters, and a couple of our least favorite ones, can save the day. Then we just might be able to rescue Ford, learn Bill's weakness, and save Gravity Falls! The final battle between good and evil was as trippy as it was emotionally satisfying, with elements that have been hinted at since the beginning of the show finally paying off. Turn around and look at me, you one-eyed demon! You're a real wise guy, but you made one fatal mistake. You messed with my family. Before we unveil our favorite animated television series send-off, here are a few honorable mentions. But it's a nice night, huh? Yeah. This is nice. Can he ever come back? Perhaps not in body, my children. But my spirit shall remain among you where it was always meant to be. Was it all a lie? I love you, John. I never lied about that. Take care of yourself. You too, Spider-Man. Farewell and good luck. Wow, I wonder how I'm supposed to get down from here. I suppose I could wait for the Fantastic Four to drop by and give me a lift. I just have to warn you, I'm no pushover, you know. I still have my own way of doing things. That's what I'm counting on. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Sozin's Comet – Avatar The Last Airbender the conflict between the Fire Nation and Team Avatar, which had been building for three seasons, came to a head in the epic four-part finale. Since beginningless time, darkness thrives in the void, but always yields to purify light. The ending manages to strike a perfect balance between the characters' own internal issues and the conclusion of the overarching conflict. I'm sorry it has to end this way, brother. No, you're not. The formerly antagonistic Zuko faced off against the sister whose shadow he always lived with. Iroh returned to Ba Sing Se not as a conqueror but as a liberator, while Aang had to face down Fire Lord Ozai. Aang's final battles touched on the philosophical themes of the show, with Aang managing to stop the despot without having to end his life. What did you do to me? I took away your firebending. You can't use it to hurt or threaten anyone else ever again. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here.